Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use a Zener diode within any circuit simulation in Multisim. So for it, first of all, we must know that there is a concept of voltage regulation or voltage regulators within the electronics. It simply means that if we need to convert any voltage like 20 volt, 26 volt or like 15 volt to certain uh, specific voltages like 3.3 .3 volt or 5 volt, then we need these regulators. Like there is a very famous voltage regulator that is the 7805, which is used to convert like uh, 12 to 26 volt to fix 5 volt. And there is also one IC that is called as 1117, which also used to convert these ranges of voltages to 3.3 volt. But if you want to use certain uh, like cost effective process, then we will go for Zener diodes. Zener diodes can be of like uh, multiple ranges. They can be of like uh, 2.7 volt or 2.2 volt or even to 3.1 and 3.2. So we can simply say that Zener diodes can be used very effectively as the voltage regulators. So let's start our simulation. First, we will take our DC source. So this is our DC source. Okay, now we also need one ground. So this is our ground. Now, we need our Zener diode. So what type of Zener diode we need? Like here, we have one Zener diode that is of 8 volt 2 or 8.2 volt. So we will take it out. One more thing that we also need one series resistance to uh, limit the current because when the Zener diode starts conduction in uh, after breakdown region, uh, there is a huge amount of current used to flow like uh, there is a peak of current. So in order to uh, limit that huge amount of current, we will use one series resistance. Okay, so we will go for our resistors. So we can say that we, we, we need one like 220 ohm resistor which is a very famous resistor to be used for to limit the current. Okay, so this is our 12 volt. Okay, now we will connect the ground with the negative side of this battery or 12 volt DC supply. We can say anything. Okay, now one more thing uh, you must know that this Zener diode is always used as a a reverse biased element like uh, it's a negative side that is this uh, hyphen uh, like side must be connected with the positive end of the battery via resistor okay and its positive end must be connected with the ground or negative side of this supply okay so this is our uh, okay now this is our simple circuit uh, can we take one load resistance? Yes, we can take. So we will go for place basic and we will go for resistor. We can place like uh, okay, like uh, 600 ohm or like uh, any other resistor. So here, okay, now we will right click on it. We will rotate it clockwise then. Okay, so this is our uh load resistance or simply load now we will take our multimeter okay now we will measure the voltage across the what's called is the load resistance or across this because both are in parallel so multimeter is across the resistance as well as across the Zener diode. Okay, now we need to run it. And here we can see that 
we are getting 8.2 volt that is 8.19 is approximately equal to 8.2 volt if we want to increase the battery supply we can okay so if we even increase it to 15 volts still we will see that it will give us around 8.2 okay so if the supply is even 20 volt or so still it will give us 8.2 volts so it uh, acts as a very good voltage regulator for multiple voltage ranges so hopefully you got this simple concept regarding zener diode use inside the multisim so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel